I got the sound going. Oh no, it's going a little long. Oh no. Oh well, try again. Hello everyone, this is Roger from Almost in Full Color. Uh, now I'm on continued uh, holiday reminisce to Generation 5, they kind of called this. Um, if you're unfamiliar with the console generations, like 1 and 2 was kind of your Atari uh, game consoles. I actually don't remember um, the Intellivision and all that. Uh, Gen 3 was your Nintendo, Gen 4 is your NES, Genesis, uh, and Gen 5 is the ps1 and 64. i had both of these consoles but one of the biggest standouts was a game that came out in 1999 called tony hawk pro skater um this game here was very important a lot of my favorite games are from this so let's get started all right we're here at the main menu um like any other game you can pick who you want if there is uh there was a nice selection of skaters that were popular in 99. Um, I'm just going to pick Tony Hawk. Uh, I usually played as Bucky when I played this game. Um, what We have to pick the iconic, and Tony Hawk had the best boards in the game. Uh, always loose. And then, for some reason, I always like the bright random color. But yeah, this game was very iconic uh, to the start of it all. Um, ooh, tried to do a special too early. Um, I did mute the music, uh, just to be on the safe side, but Tony Hawk 1 and 2 will be one of probably the best video game soundtracks I ever had heard. Uh, there's a couple games that probably get close to it, but the first two Tony Hawks, which I actually have a Spotify playlist I found, uh, I'll link it in the description below, if you just want to reminisce about the game some more. Uh, so there's a lot of differences here that you can... If you played the Tony Hawk games, you may notice uh, while I play. The biggest thing, I can't manual right now, which is a big problem. Uh, a lot of combos are way nicer to do when you can manual. Uh, let's see if I can get this one off. Oh, dang it. So it's a little silent, so a little boring uh, on that aspect. But the music, I think, makes the game. I try to get them boxes. Um, so the game was pretty simple if you never played a Tony Hawk game. Uh, usually you had goals to do um, in each level. So there's five uh, goals and all of the levels had to find a secret tape. Uh, this secret tape's above the half pipe. Um, and like I said, the fact that some things were missing that was added later on makes this game actually a lot harder. Getting a high score is extremely... Dang, I should have got that box, sorry. Uh, it's different because you can't string too many combos together. Uh, can I get that box? I think I got the other one. Uh, four out of five. Dang, I'm missing one. Dang it, got stopped. Uh, let's see what I got. Oh, I got four tapes. Oh, wow. I was missing the box. Uh, no, I don't have a memory card in, so I can't save. Uh, that's pretty cool. Best combo there. Three tricks. Uh, we're going to try to get these boxes. I'm sorry. Um, so, yeah, this was a very start to a genre of games I played forever until the new generation uh, kind of kicked in. I didn't play many of the new Tony Hawk's. Uh, I think Underground 2 was maybe where I stopped. Let's stop there. For some reason, it was always hard for me to get these boxes. Like, I never wanted to transition over that half pipe or anything. Or quarter pipe, I mean, sorry. Uh, da -da, knock this box. Casual skating here. And that was what was cool. There was a free skate mode. I remember many nights just sitting there playing free skate nonstop. Uh, just trying to learn the levels. Uh, that's how, sadly, I think I remember a lot of stuff here was just overplaying it. 
And a contest I used to have with me and my family was you do free, not free skate was unlimited time. You do a single session of two minutes and see who can get the highest score. Uh, I'll play around with some tricks here. Try to relearn Tony Hawk's moves here. Uh, if y'all weren't into skateboarding, Tony Hawk was very famous for being the half pipe skater. Uh, I thought it was right down. Yeah, it was. Uh, so the hard one of the hardest tricks in this game was the 900. They made that extremely hard. Uh, you need a lot of air. Uh, that I failed it there. So I didn't even have enough air at that moment. Man, earning my specials been... There we go. Oh, I thought I got that. There we go. There's that move. And there's that one. Okay, got those two down. I think there was one with, like, left down. This Tony Hawk had four specials. Everybody else kind of had three. I won't remember that one. I right, got all the tapes in this level. There's only five. I unlocked uh, more. Um, so the other thing that was missing, there was no grinding bar, as you saw there, to keep balance. If you grind too far over, left or right, you will wreck. Uh, trying to balance it now. Tried to do too much. Uh, don't want to do that again. Uh, I'm trying to remember where everything is in this level. Oh, that's right, the quick exit. Thank you. Uh, da -da, get this up. Nope. I thought I had special. Dang, no wonder that wasn't working. And I always found the pools to be the best at getting air. They were a little more pers uh, smaller. There we go. Can I get it? There we go, got the 900, and I barely land it. So that shows you how hard that is uh, in this game. I missed a lot of letters up high. So this, uh, the incline, usually you kind of want to hang down here after the beginning once you come down here. Oh, wow. Sorry, did not grind. There we go. Uh, I think the other score was like... Oh, I tried to grind that. Wait, I can get skate. Oh, maybe not. Alright, let's see how well accuracy is with this game. Thank you. I messed up that landing, though. Alright, let's see what I got. What the... So if you repeat tricks, your score gets lower and lower. Uh... I think that continued on the other ones. Uh, but yeah, this was like the beginning of me loving Tony Hawk games. And yeah, you can see here you get a nice little roadmap, and it kind of keeps track of what you're missing, which is always good. Uh, so I had the mall, and then the uh, the skate park. Uh, I'll play the mall once, and then we'll go to the skate park. Uh, so you can tell the high scores keep increasing, so you should be getting better in theory, and the levels have become a lot more interactive. Uh, this is the one that's like a point-to-point -point map, uh, so if you miss anything, you usually have to restart, which I think I just missed the S. I think the S is here? No. The S is here, huh? So yeah, this is a closed-down mall you get to skate through. Uh, I don't know if you could get everything in one run. Oh! I remember that taking me forever just to line up. Jump the stairs. And you get gap bonuses. Uh, the blue words you see appearing at the bottom. Uh, and these are just special, like... Uh, I jumped that whole flight of stairs. So that is what made that go. Sorry, that was really fast. I missed the K. Um, so that was a way to increase score. More is finding them special gaps and doing what's needed to accomplish them. Sorry. Oh, dang, I missed the T. Uh, I should be able to do one more run.
I will head to the exit. Or does the exit stop you? I can't remember if it teleports you back or stops you. Oh, it stops you. That's great. I got one tape. Yay. That was a great level. Uh, no, no saving. Alright, so here's the first skate competition. Um, these were always fun. To me, uh, this just brought playing computer. And you had to beat the other pros. So that was always fun. Uh, wow. Oh, crap. Wrong direction. There we go. Uh, I tried it. Let's see if we can get it. Oh, yes. The 900. We should do good on this round. I hit this train. Oh, I tried to transfer out. So, yeah, the trick with Tony Hawk is just live in the half pipe. Get some little bonus points here. And rack on the last part. That's what you want to do. Alright, 91.4. Alright, got a good... There, let's see if we can do it. So this is of three heats. Uh, your top two scores are what count. Oh, I didn't get the good grind. I don't think I had enough for that. Oh, bad start. Bad start, Roger. All right, let's get a nice little easy grind kickflip going. Get this going. Ooh, I thought I had more air than that. Always start with some simple kickflips. Get some spins going with some grabs. All right, we're just going to count this as a wash. Maybe. Uh, let's see what we can pull off here. Oh, I did not want to do that there. Yeah. Tony Hawk, you failed here. I don't know why I'm blaming Tony Hawk. Get some rocket air. Alright, let's see how well that gave us. 82s. That That's good. Oh! Well, let's see. We're still first. Uh, did not expect to have that after that run. Uh, let's see if we can beat that and hopefully seal this competition. Get that There we go. Spin a little trick there. Get that. Get this combo. Oh, uh, I missed that combo. Alright, now time. There we go. The winning combo. Three specials in a row. Generally, no one probably is going to beat that at this competition. Uh, this is another iconic level. Uh, a lot of times, if you see remakes, again, it will be Warehouse. This was one of the big competition ones. Oh, that always gets me dizzy. I forgot you follow the half pipe. So what I mean by that is... Uh, let me see if I can angle it fine to show y'all. Here we go. You spin around with the pipe. So it's defies gravity uh so if i hit this you're um... all right let's see what our score is oh 92s so we should have won yep and there we go first place in the competition uh that's a good way to end this video so i'm gonna stop recording now uh again ps1 was very influential uh i had uh n64 also during this time n64 was mainly my wrestling console uh and mario but the ps1 i had a lot of good uh memories of that um so this is roger from almost a full color please like and subscribe this video uh if you check the description um we have all our twitch uh channels there you can check us out we've been trying to stream really hard lately so um hopefully there'll be some one of us on every night hopefully um we're working towards that um anyways this is roger signing out